Here's New Holland Beer, sponsor of the uh, fourth annual Groundhog Marathon. Happened February 6th. We are here at the Pearl Street Grill in downtown Grand Haven. My name is Scott Sullivan, and I actually witnessed this event. It was a bit of a rarity. There's actually decent weather. The legend of the Groundhog Marathon, founder Don Kern, went to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, home of Punxsutawney Phil and the traditional holiday, and wondered, why am I here? I mean, what is the sense of a groundhog seeing a shadow or not on a winter day and thinking, okay, either there's going to be six more months or six more weeks of winter or not? Of course there's going to be six more weeks of winter. Are you kidding? So his cousin, according to the legend of the Groundhog Marathon, Augustus T. Groundhog, says, the heck with this. Of course it's going to be winter. Let's go out for a winter run. Hence the beginnings of the Groundhog Marathon. Um, last year it was buried in snow, two years ago it was kind of buried in snow, the first year I was too sick to go. This year I rode around with TJ, the DJ, on the cart. We had a blast out there, there was New Holland beer at the finish, and oh yeah, oh yeah, they ran too. There was a one-sixth of a marathon Friday night, February 5th. Um, Part of the Groundhog Day legend is it's like the Groundhog's Day movie. It's just like you're repeating the same thing over and over and over again. On Friday night, you only do the 4.4 mile course once. For the marathon, you do it six times. So if it seems like it's happening over and over and over and over and over, or did I do it six times? It is. There's also a half marathon. The 1-6 marathon Friday night drew, I wrote down my figures here, 113 finishers. The half marathon drew 242 finishers, including Darth Vader. Yes, Darth Vader, we have pictures of him running in his ensemble. He's a burly guy who wears all black. He wears a gas mask. He huffs and puffs. He doesn't say anything. He has a Wounded Warriors t-shirt. You will see him in the pictures. And he finished 226th out of 242 in 32308. In case you want to look up Darth Vader, he lives in Canandaiga, New York. And he finished the half marathon in 32308. Now, the half marathon had 226 total finishers, so for formality's sake, Jason Lefebvre, 41 of Sanford, won in 120-34. Felicia Slate, 24 of Big Rapids, hard as stone. Felicia Slate was the women's champion in 136-26. For the men! These six loops of the 4.4 mile course, and you can stop at the finish and uh, avail yourself of the beer tent and then run another loop, and then another loop, and another loop if you are so disposed. The men's winner was Jacob Flynn, 33 of Traverse City. In three hours and 09 seconds, Jacob may have stayed too long over a brew or may have whatever, but he missed breaking the magic uh, to three hours. Um, time limit. Cindy Harrington, 33 of Portage, won the women's race in 3.18.09. There were 82 finishers. Basically, it's a semi-insane event, very worth it, the only Groundhog's Day Marathon I know of in Michigan, and certainly the best. Kudos to them, and a New Holland beer and toast.